What's going on, everybody? Z here, and welcome back to some more Planet Crafter. So last episode, um, I think we got this guy going. Was this the guy that we got going this last time? I think it is. I think this is the guy we got going last time. So uh, we've got that guy going again. It's fantastic. We got our exterior grow bed deal. And um, yeah, what I want to do is I want to play with an idea of like, of like having a layout, <laughs> like a layout of new things, because um, with the introduction of this kind of stuff, we're now growing things outside. So I'd kind of like to shift from like an, a more interior base to one that, you know, utilizes a little bit more exterior kind of stuff, if you know what I'm saying. So um, we're going to go ahead. We're going to look into that, hopefully mess around and see what we come up with and uh, have a good time. So hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do like subscribe, all the fun things. Um, silk generators. Okay, so they're doing their things. Fantastic. Uh, we got to get down to buggy business. That's what we're going to do. So... <laughs> What I want to go ahead and do, let's go ahead and get some food and water real fast, and then we're going to play with some ideas here. Okay, so I got some iron, I got some things, we got some food and water. Now, um, this is kind of one of how I, I want to see how we can play with this here. Let's go ahead and let's look at our foundation grids. So we've got a grid platform here. Is there a grid that we could have closer to the ground? Okay, so we have this grid here that could be a little bit closer to the ground. However, keeping it at the same height is going to be um is going to be the issue here so i'm trying to actually see where like the flattest area is that we would be able to mess with this because like i want it as close to the ground as possible i mean i could just literally just go up and down and do stuff like that we could figure that out hmm but then if I do that, we're going to need some kind of like outside stair, but we can't have an outside stair really. I mean, I guess we can. We could have it something like that and it just goes into the ground. So that would work. But then we have to figure out like what we're going to do with all this stuff over here. Um, this side over here is not being used for absolutely anything right now. And I just don't really feel like we need it. So I'm thinking maybe we get rid of like cut this whole section of this of our base off here. And then maybe kind of make an area in here. Well, see, this is the problem, though, is that, like, none of this is very flat, and there's a bunch of rocks over here. Hmm. Of course, we could build around the rocks, and that could actually make it look pretty neato. Okay, yeah. Let's go ahead and let's cut this. Let's cut this, this wing of this room off. I just don't feel like we're going to need it. I'm going to cut it off from the inside, so that way I know what uh, kind of what I'm doing here. And what do we get back from that? Okay, we get a lot of stuff back. So I'm going to go ahead and try to store a bunch of this stuff. Let's go ahead and cut this one off. It's crazy how much faster things uh, come off when uh, <laughs> they're like one room, you know? Um, well, darn. I actually need to move this room now. I need to move that storage. Darn it. Okay, so we've got that area removed. So now we have a big, huge open area here. Um, and like I said, I want to, I want to have like, I want to be going in and out more often since like it's becoming nicer out. Um, but I don't, I still don't really like what we've got going on up here. Like this was, this is working. Like these biodomes and stuff. I feel like these biodomes could be on the ground, and I feel like it make it look a little bit neater um, to actually like have them within the uh, within the environment around. You know, hmm. Of course, I would like I would like to have them all in the same area though too. Okay, so I'm I have an idea. I'm not gonna actually go this route because um maybe in the future thing we could actually build right on top of this water because this water is a huge flat area. And essentially, what I could do is I could put a bunch of these foundations down and then run things on top of that. However, not a big fan of that. Um, I feel like we could do that, but you know, I still I'm not sold on it. So. Um, I think, like I said, I think we're still going to go with building something out here. I kind of want to use like the, the, the area that we already have, you know, a little bit. So let me go ahead and let me continue playing with this. Let me try to get some ideas figured out here because what I essentially want to do is I want to have, um, I want to have these foundations essentially be like pathways so that way we can like walk around. We can go from one part of our base to the other. And then within these like ground areas, we'll have, you know, these things and like the flower spreaders and stuff like that and have like a little patch, you know, like a little patch of like, you know, a grow bed, a butterfly thing and like a flower spreader, like in one area. And then we can move on, have a building or whatever. And then like have another patch of a different type of thing, you know, I kind of what I'm thinking, but uh, we got to figure this out though. Okay. And then, so our stairs also will not connect halfway through. 
um so in order for this to work so yeah see we don't and we don't have there's not like an adjustable ramp either it's so like i can't place this right here because of that and i can't place it's so like i was like okay well what if i place this first something like that you know and then it blocks it from doing this so hmm okay new idea new idea new idea new idea we're gonna have a courtyard what we're gonna do is we're just gonna leave it like this we're gonna let it do its thing we're gonna have our stairs going down you know um connecting onto these going down into this area we'll have a courtyard area kind of down in there separate but separate but kind of connected you know um and then we'll do that we'll have our, pl our, our fl plants and things like that in there and then around the outside we could have our multiple biodomes and whatnots because we have multiple biodomes and we've got um i kind of want to bring those down from up top and like have them you know down in the the ground center area so actually what i need to do if anything is i need to go through and we need to frame out a um essential like essentially like you know kind of like a rectangular kind of thing and then from there We'll get everything hooked up now i don't feel like is that gonna be enough room in between these yeah that probably should be it should probably be enough room and then we also have to make sure that we're also gonna be able to put the biodomes here too so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna get some of these placed and uh, we'll see what we can do here okay so we have some we have some foundations placed there now if we wanted to have like one of our bio oh, i need some water <laughs> uh this is the problem with like once you get in like the build mode and it's like oh i don't you want to pay attention to, like the food or water it's like oh it's so annoying um okay hold on let's get up here okay how many biodomes do we need to bring down so if we want to get rid of this whole top story we could bring down one two three four honestly these ones um i could probably get rid of those right now can't deconstruct inventory full ah oh, darn it Okay, so those two we could get out for sure because those are just giving us um, tree bark, which we're not super utilizing right now anyways. Okay, so there's that. There's our first biodome gone. Uh, because I, you know, I, no, darn it. <laughs> I never really liked the whole ladder thing. Like it's cool and it makes it makes for handy bases, but I don't typically use them. Uh, well, I mean, I guess I can get out now. I don't typically use them because they're just kind of like, it's one of those, I don't know. It's just one of those things. It's just one of those things that's like, it's it's weird. Um, it's not like a stairwell going up. It's like, you don't realize you have an upper story while you're under here, you know what I'm saying? So if I get rid of that and instead we bring a, uh, what was that? A, that was a, a biodome tier two. If we bring that over here, something like this. Now, how do we, how do we have these sitting on here? Okay, so they sit like a v barely touching. So something like that. You know, I almost feel like I should bring a room out here and have it all connected so we could see everything. You know what? We need to do that. I need living compartments. Iron and titanium. Do I seriously have no iron? Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's see here. What is the best room to probably hook into this one? Probably. So if we go into here, we could hook into this room. We could hook into this room. Let's go with this one. I feel like that extra width might be handy. We could always move those too. I don't think that'll be an issue. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and then from here, biodome tier two. Oh, I need a super alloy for that. Uh, you know what? Let's actually go ahead and get... Oh, I don't have any more iron. Oh my gosh. I forget how fast you go through iron and stuff. Okay, Biodome Tier 2. Let's get this guy back on line here. And then what I think we're going to do is Biodome Tier 2. I kind of want it as close to this corner as possible. So that means we're going to have to move some things. We're gonna have to move our launch platform and we're gonna have to move those drills. Okay, so all that stuff is gone. Now, let's see here. Okay, so I know we needed these. I know we need a super alloy. Probably the sulfur tree bark, maybe. I don't remember what we needed for this thing. Uh, to bottom tier two, I need, oh, two fertilizers. Okay. So now we get this bottom tier two, hopefully hooked up here. 
Why won't you go there? So that's linked there. But it doesn't. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Oh, that actually looks pretty good. Well, I want it one more over. Well, I'm trying to see, cause like this is the corner. If we have a door here, that might actually, that might actually work out pretty good. I, I like that. I like that. Okay. So we can deal with that. So basically what I want to do is I want to repeat the same thing on that side. If I can, now that side has a big, huge hill on it. So there's a chance that we might not be able to get some biodomes in there. They might have to be on this side, but that's okay. Um, all right, so there's that. So basically I want to repeat the same thing with this one. I'm going to snag some of these rooms up here and um, just bring this stuff kind of down. We're going to loop it around. Or we might just keep going. I have no idea. Um, and then what I also want to do with this is to, to cause like I, like I said, I want to have like an, an outside kind of feeling thing is I want to put these living compartment windows in basically around this entire thing so that way while you're walking around inside you can see outside and we can come down in here and then we can have like a whole bunch of you know um, different little farms and flowers and butterflies and things like that so okay let's go ahead and let's do that let's grab this guy let's empty this one out we'll take this one out and then we'll take these corridors out because this side's not connecting anything so there's that be gone and then boom make sure i don't delete myself uh, we are losing materials, which is fine because those are probably sitting outside now. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So let's get some more. Uh, let's get some more living compartments in here. And then from there, we should be able to get another tier two biodome. And obviously I want that one as close as possible. Getting these things lined up is, is very tricky. Okay, so it looks like it's gonna have to go right there. Yes, because that leaves a little space in between it. Okay, cool. All right, so we've got a green biodome and we've got the uh, the main biodome laboratory that we need to uh, we need to get somewhere as well. So what I'm thinking is main biodome laboratory. I think we're going to put it right into this area right here because we're not utilizing all the space yet. And yeah, let's actually go ahead and check this out now while I'm thinking about it. Okay. Ooh, yeah, no, this should actually work out pretty good because we're not using any of this space. We're using this space for fusion generators. That will work just fine. Um, I just need to move storages. Okay, so there's that room. That room's gone. So this is going to be our fusion generation room, which is completely fine. That'll work out wonderfully. Um, and then let's go ahead and grab our bio lab. I know we're doing a whole bunch of changing today. We're changing up all the things. I just was, I don't know what happened. Like it was such a good idea and I liked it. I really liked it when I, when I did it. Um, but like now that we're kind of like dealing with more outside stuff, I really want to start like focusing on being able to see the outside stuff, you know? And in the beginning of the game, it's like, you know, it's like the, the environment's very harsh out here. There's no greenery, there's no life, and there's, you know, there's nothing to look at. So being inside of a rectangle box like this, like you're not missing out on a whole lot. But as we're going along, we're starting to miss out. So, um, okay, so there's that. Let's go ahead and let's grab this room here. And then I want to try to put that right in here if I can. Where is that biodome room at? It is the this one. And that actually looks like it'll work out perfectly right there. Oh, that worked out wonderfully. Okay, awesome. So now as far as other biodomes up top, we only have the butterfly one. And that is pretty much it. We've got this, uh, this room here that has like some, we were going to do some excess storage on it. So how does this look? Oh, yeah. See, I like that right there. That actually works out pretty, pretty good. And then what we can do to like increase openness is let's see. Do we have any? See, here's some cobalt is we can add room. We can add windows and stuff like this so you can see out, see through, you know, and I, I think that's gonna be cool. Awesome. All right. Um, but that's gonna be like decorative stuff that we're gonna do later. And then I also think on the edges, we should also do these living compartment corners um, like on each corner. So just to make it feel a little bit more open. Uh, yeah, that looks cool. Okay. I like that. I like that so far. So good Okay, so now we need this biodome out of here 
Um, now, I do feel like the, the top of this is a little empty. And that is my next kind of thing that I was trying to think of and try and figure out what we should do with it. Because we could move our heaters. We could move our heaters up here, heat generation onto, uh, onto the top of the building. Which... I don't know about that. I don't know if I would like how that ultimately looks or not. Probably would be pretty good though. It probably wouldn't look it probably wouldn't be too bad. It probably wouldn't actually look too terrible. I don't know. Let's get this butterfly dome moved though. First thing. Um where are we gonna put it though? That is the question, because we have fusion generation stuff over here. So this section has to stay. And then like obviously the section underneath of here, this is our main crafting area, this is our farm, and our uh, tree bark area stuff like that and then we have like a butterfly room in here that we're working on I feel like the butterflies should be on this side on the bottom level but this is the thing is I don't think that biodome I don't think will go right here I think it has to be above oh you know what I have an idea all right I think I think I have an oh my gosh I have a lot of storage random storage stuff in here um let's do this let's pop that off of there what do I need for a butterfly biodome okay um okay so that brought down two what I was actually thinking is we could put this long ways but I need to get rid of this room here I need to get rid of this from here. We could actually bring this down, line it up right here, and have it going in this spot right here, and then the butterfly room, and then the butterflies. Yeah. And then that will kind of bring it out this way. Yep, that'll work. That'll work. That'll do it. Uh, the only problem is I got to get rid of... Oh, I guess I only have three storages in here. That's not terrible. Okay, so that room is cleared out. Let's go ahead. Um, oh, shoot. I actually need to get those butterflies out of there. So let's go ahead and pull these out of there. Deconstruct that. And then let's go outside and see how this is gonna look. I think this is gonna I think it's gonna come together nicely. Um, okay, so I want oh, there's actually a bunch of stuff right here. Hmm. Um, okay, so what we need is the butterfly biodome. Alright, so I need to worry about this side here. Okay, so do I want it like that, or do I want it in? I think I like it like that better. Yeah, I feel like that lines up pretty decently. We can throw some more, uh, some more walkways right here. And then that... That actually looks pretty good. You know what? We should do the same thing with this side. Because all we really need to do, we could get rid of these and we could just have these like back to back. I actually really like that. Okay, so what it is, I deleted all that and then what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to put a biodome tier 2. Right in here. Like that. So instead of having... Instead of having it go that way, we'll have it go this way. And then we can walk through the biodome to go through and go to wherever else we're going. Um, yeah, I like that. I like that. Um, hold on. I got to put a door here because these guys are making tree bark. Now we can deconnect, disconnect that. We can get another biodome tier two. We can get this connected just directly onto here. Like that. Oh, see, yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, now, as far as doors go, we need to have like a door here. But then if we need to go through here, we can just run through like this side. We can run through right here. We can see out everything. And then this will take us to the other side. And then, like, oh, I like that. Much more, uh, it's, it's like, I feel like we're actually utilizing these biodomes, you know, by, by doing something like that. So now I know that these biodomes technically have tree bark, which is all the way at the other side of the base, but that's okay. 
plus I like how that looks it actually looks pretty cool so um I should it's kind of a bummer I should have mirrored it exactly the problem is that I have a lot of stuff in these two rooms right here let's see if I have any more rooms anywhere that I could utilize the space a little bit better no no I don't not really I mean, I guess we don't need all this plant, all this, all these, uh, this farming stuff in here. Hmm. No, no, I like the asymmetrical of it. I like it. Um, and then actually I want to throw a door here and then we can walk out right here. Oh, it's like, this is just already becoming so much better. All right. How does this look up here? What else do we have? Okay. So we don't have a lot. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of this stuff up here. Okay, so the whole upper area is removed. It's cleared off. There is a rare larva up here, though. But that's all clean and cleared. Um, I don't really see like I because I never went. I never really went up there for anything, anyways. So now it's like we have this huge open area. Oh, hello there. Grab some of those goodies. Um, I am destroying my inventory as we do this, though, because I'm just kind of throwing stuff everywhere for now. <laughs> uh, but I like that. I like that. Okay, so now what we can do. So since we have like this whole little courtyard area, we can mess with putting, you know, stuff in here. So what I might actually try to do, let's see, what's my inventory? It's empty. Okay, let me go grab some iron because um, I want to make like a walkway kind of thing. And then we'll fill in around the walkway kind of area, if that makes sense. All right, I have a whole inventory full of titanium. Okay, so what I'm thinking here is we actually need to figure out where like the center of this is at. All right, so the center is right in here. So what I want to do is I'm going to leave a uh, I want to leave a foundation there for that. And then what I want to do is I want to put these in here. So let's go ahead and let's deconnect that one. Let's go ahead and get this ramp. Oh, really? Why is that just look at that? You see that it's just barely in the way. All right, well, we still know that this is the center. So what I want to do is I want to be able to go down to right here. And is that centered with that? Okay, cool. So this is roughly centered. So what I'm going to do is basically we're going to go ahead and put um, some foundations here. Let's go ahead and grab this guy. Of course, I can't deconstruct because the inventory is full. Oh, and my inventory is full now too. Darn. Um. Well, you know what? Let's just, we'll just go around it for now. <laughs> actually, that might actually work out pretty good if we go around it like that. Okay, so it was dark and I had to, uh, to come back. So basically what I got going on here is we have this little walkway right here which I think is going to be our courtyard area. So we have it going off around here, kind of looping around. And then I think from here, if I'm not mistaken. One, two, three, four, five on the inside of this one. One, two, three, four, five on the inside of here. So we're going to connect here and then we're going to go back this way. And this is going to be like a little court. No, you've got to be kidding me. Oh my gosh. Why? Can you like go away? Oh my gosh. Um, I need that to go away. That's ruining everything. Hopefully we'll have some like excavation stuff eventually. <laughs> Oh, that'd be so nice. Um, and then basically we can connect there, connect here, because that is roughly the center there, right? One, two, one, two. Oh no, this is not roughly centered. The center is definitely right here. You know what? It's fine. We can have it there. It doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical. It does not need to be perfectly symmetrical. Okay. And then from there, uh, we could probably go ahead and bring some of these out. I need to move those. But there we have a kind of like a little walkway area. And then what we could also do is we could also bring in something like that. Uh, well, if we're going to do this, this is going to have to go here. Yep. 
yeah that's gonna have to go there it's gonna have to be symmetrical and then from you know we'll throw something on the inside there and then we can throw different flower things different um different all kinds of different things oh this is gonna be super cool we can actually maybe like try to utilize the outside a little bit um we might not i'm gonna see what flowers we get because i might not actually use the flowers if they're going to cover up those walkways like this what i might do is we might throw flowers like um i might actually sneak them inside here somehow so that way they're like around and then from in here we'll have like maybe like butterflies and maybe we'll do some like um we could do a grass spreader or something you know something to keep it down a little bit i don't know we'll have to see i think it's gonna be pretty cool though I like that. I just wish that stupid rock wasn't there. All right, we're moving these. Um, oh, this, see, that's a grass spreader. Okay. Let's go ahead and remove that and kind of see what we got to deal with here. Okay, so this is like a by, this is the default area kind of stuff. So, in the middle here, we could put something. Maybe we should just throw a grass spreader in here, you know? Let me see. Let's, um, if I throw that in there, I'd like to move this, but I can't even build these right now. <laughs> I can't build a butterfly farm. So like, I don't really want to move that <laughs> right now, uh, but we can put that there and then we can put a beehive, you know, maybe like next to that, right next to the grass area. Um, and then, Ooh, you know what would also be kind of neat. Maybe hold on. Let me grab all of this out of here and deconstruct these we could utilize these into our little area down here um maybe we'll throw one i mean we could throw them on these platforms like this but that's also going to take away from the view from there um let's do this let's actually just set one there and one there kind of like right next to these uh this little walk area that'll work and then we'll let that grass we'll see how well that grass does if it gets to be too much, we'll figure that out. But um, let's also get a flower spreader in here, just since we already had one. Um, and then can I throw these? See, that's what I'm thinking. If I throw it over here in the corner and then I throw that in there, that might actually stop the flowers from like, you know, taking over this whole area right here. Whereas I could throw them and just throw them in the corners there. Um, I have the sinking suspension that these flowers are gonna go a lot further <laughs> than I thought they would. Uh, yeah, they definitely are. Uh, we'll just we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. It'll be fine. I'm not touching this though because I can't even build another one. So, all right, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and let's do this. Um, we definitely need a doorway like right in. Oh, that's right. Hold on. Let's. Can I take out? Oh, I can't. That's right. You can't destroy the, the doors. All right, so doors, iron, titanium, and silicon. Okay, so I want my doors to be like right there. And right there. Oh, man, that's super unfortunate. I can't get rid of those doors. But I mean, it is what it is. It's fine, I guess. I, mean, I could put a wall. Actually, if I grab some cobalt, can we change those to walls? Uh, so let me see here. Change that one. Yep. And change that one. Oh, yeah. See, I like that. Oh, that looks so much. See, like, that looks so much nicer. All right. Let's go ahead and get, let's get these, let's get these windows in here everywhere. Um, let's see. Do we have anything against the wall here? Oh, we do. Okay. So we can't use that one. Um, I'm at a cobalt again. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now, these... Is there just a wall? Hmm. Kind of nice if there was just like a wall, like I could leave a wall segment right here. So that way I could put these on a wall instead. I mean, I guess I could put them right here. But if we put a window here, that might actually look kind of cool. I'd rather have a window right there, though. We'll just throw those there for now. I know that doesn't look right. It's fine. We'll fix it later. Um, we need to grab some food and water real quick. <laughs> We're gonna die. See, that just already looks so much nicer. You can see, like, we're incorporating the outside with the uh, with the inside. Oh, it actually did not take over our walkways. 
it like it actually like went around it okay so that's good to know all right so we need to get more flower spreaders in here we can definitely fill out the um the rest of this area with flowers for sure and then it'd be cool if we could get trees in here but we don't really have any tree capabilities and then hold on where is I need to make sure that I... Okay, so it's that last one right there is the centered one-ish. I guess the dock doesn't have to be centered. Um, I need to get this dock moved too. <laughs> so it's actually going out into the water again. But it would be cool if we could get some trees and stuff over here. I might actually get a tree spreader and place it right here, right next to our base. And just kind of see where they pop up. If they start taking over... Oh, you know what? Let's just grab it now and do it. We'll see what happens. If they start taking over the um, the base, then we'll move it. But let's go ahead and grab ourselves. Where's that tree spreader at? Tree spreader. We only have a tier one. Fertilizer tier two and zeolite. Let's get a tier two going. Fertilizer tier two and a zeolite. Um, that shouldn't be that hard to get. We just got we just got the tears the tree spreader tier three. What the heck are the odds of that? Um, two turtle two fertilizer tier two. <laughs> Literally, I was just like, oh, let's just get the tier two, and then it's like tier three unlocked just now. What the heck? What are the odds? Um, what is what is fertilizer tier two? Uh, methane, algae, squash. Oh, well, shoot, that's easy enough. So I need an algae and a fertilizer. I feel like I have more stuff. Okay, we've got everything that we need for a tree spreader tier three. <laughs> okay, uh, does this have to float on the water too? I'm guessing it probably does. Or has to be next, what? Wait, insert a tree into this grows. Insert a tree into this and let it grow. Wait, does the only... <gasps> Oh, the tree spreader tier one only has to be placed on. Oh my gosh. So this can be placed anywhere. <gasps> oh, that's so that's totally going right here. Oh, that's going to be super cool. And then what is this? The Humalora. Okay, so we'll see. We'll see what tree is my favorite. Oh, that thing is sick looking. This whole thing is going to look like a little forest now. This is going to be cool. This is going to be really cool. Now, unfortunately, it does take trees like forever to uh, forever to grow. But um, those trees were actually pretty cool looking. I I think actually, hold on, let me go take a peek. I want to say my favorite trees were actually the trees over here, and I'm pretty sure they were like super basic trees, like the like the most like entry level trees. Um, was it these ones? Actually, oh, these ones are pretty cool. See, like these look like bonsai trees. Oh, I really like this. Oh, these are cool looking though too. Hold on, let's look at let's look at the trees here. These are cool looking. Um, they look too festive though. They look like holiday season kind of thing. Um, these are cool looking. These are pretty cool looking, and they have these like little shrubby brushes, brush shrubs things in them. Mm, I really like these ones though. I really like these bonsai looking ones. We're gonna let we'll, we'll do this. Let's let the let's let the ones grow that are already there, um, because they did look pretty cool. Um, those ones over there look like palm trees. We're gonna let those do their thing, um, and then leave a comment. Let me know down below what you think we should do with our um, heaters. Do you think we should leave these as they are? I mean, this is a pretty handy little area. This is like all of our heaters are in one area. Um, it looks nice and organized and clean. We could throw those on top of our base here, but I don't know. Maybe we should just, maybe we should just leave them like they are, you know, because then we could always throw more heaters up here if we needed to. Yeah, we probably should. We should just leave that alone, but leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, also, I'm hoping that one day we'll be able to uh, get rid of that. Oh, this is going to look so cool. Yeah, see, these trees are pretty cool looking. This area is going to look so cool once it's like all filled in with trees and stuff. Oh, I can't wait. Um, okay, and then next, you know, I'm actually thinking maybe... Maybe we should have a room dividing these so we can have a door going in right here. Oh, I can't even use this ladder. 
Yeah, we need a room right here in between these. Because I can't even use the slider. Look at that. Pushes me off. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that split. Alright, so let's go ahead. Let's throw a room here. And then a biodome tier 2 right here. And then we need a door right there on the side. There we go. Yeah, see, that's much better. I mean, even though there's a little bit of a gap here, um, actually, that's... Oh, what? What's in the way right there? Oh, this? Okay, we can get that fixed. There we go. Hey, see, look at that. Okay, so now it's all attached. That looks better. Yeah, that looks better. So we can get in right there. Easy peasy. Um, we do have a door on that side too. We need to get a, uh, probably put a, like a little bit of a ramp up there. How much iron do I have left? Three pieces left. Um, okay, so let's see. Our main thing was right here. So what we need to do is we need to bring this out. And there goes my three pieces of iron. And I still need another piece of iron to get to attached right there. Okay, let me go grab some more iron. Should have some left still. All right, I might have lied. I might not have any iron left. Not to worry, I found iron. All right, perfect. There we go. So that. Oh, that doesn't connect there, does it? Grab this. Put that there. And I can't put this here, can I? Yes, I can. Okay, perfect. So there. That goes up right there. Now, um, on every other side, we did have one of these. But that is going to be in the way. So I'm thinking maybe we won't have one on this side. I wish this would go away. Can destroy this, please. This thing right here. Please. Destroy this. Um... What kind of meteor shower is this? Ow. Oh, it's just like a regular one. Okay, let's get inside. We can sit here and watch it though. Oh, see, like, look how much cooler this is. I love this so much more. Oh my gosh. Look how far the trees are going out. Oh, they're going like way out there. Those tier threes are crazy cool. <gasps> oh, I forgot we have outside lamps now too. Oh, I completely forgot about the outside lamps. Um. Okay, so those actually shine a decent amount of light. What about the area lamp? Oh, I need cobalt for that. Okay, let's see what this area lamp does. Oh, the area lamp doesn't do a whole lot. Okay, so the outside light, though. Oh. Like, I don't even know where to put it. Like, I guess maybe right here. I can't put it there because there's a, uh, a thing in the way. Okay, let's put that there. Oh, shoot. I need water. Oh my gosh, I made it. <laughs> I thought I was gonna die. I thought I was gonna die for sure. You know what, let's make something I've never made before. Let's make some honey beans. All right, is that in here? Where's those honey beans at? This must be in here. High quality food. Let's eat that. Oh, delicious. Oh my gosh, we were almost dead. Uh, okay, so we've got these lights here. So we can change the color. So that's brightness. I mean, we can make these things like red if we wanted to. Like, look at that, that's pretty cool. Not really, I don't like that at all. <laughs> I just want them white. Interesting. Hmm. Eh, we might have to play with that. I don't know. We'll see. Um, these trees, though, these things are coming in 
super hot and they are way out here like this is the trees from that holy moly that is super cool love it absolutely love it but that's gonna end this episode thank you so much for coming out hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did like subscribe all the fun things uh next episode uh maybe more of the same oh my gosh this just looks so cool that looks so cool i'm already liking this area and it's not even like fully filled in yet um but what i want to do is i want to put some of these in here i want to put some more kind of spot them around a little bit you know put different vegetables and things like that in them uh mainly for decorations but you know uh they do give us a bonus actually yeah they give us a plants um and insects so yeah neat stuff but yep thanks again for coming out have a wonderful day i'll see you next time